for question 28. It says that uh, you want to find the area of a right triangle. So I can sketch my right triangle with a leg of 6 feet and a hypotenuse of 3 root 13. Okay, so when you're looking to solve this, if you want to find the area for this, anytime you're dealing with a right triangle, your area is most likely going to be base and height that are the legs of your right triangle. So if the area is equal to 1 half base times height, we have a value for our base, 6. What we don't have is this corresponding height. Okay, so what we can use for that, and again, a lot of you are tempted, a lot of students are tempted to try to use trig to solve everything. Okay, it is possible you can use trig to find h. However, it's kind of a roundabout way. There's a far more direct way to solve it, and that is what? Pythagorean theorem. So if, if you have two sides, you want to find the other side, just use Pythagorean theorem. Uh, that would probably be the easiest approach. So when you set this up, uh, you see that h squared plus 6 squared is equal to 3 root 13 squared. And here's where the, the most common mistake probably comes. If you are typing this into your calculators, okay, if you enter the following, if you say h squared plus 6 squared equals 3 square root 13 squared comma h, okay, so this is probably the most common mistake, is entering it in this form. And the reason why this is a mistake is when, when your calculator performs order of operations, it's going to do this power of 2 before it multiplies by 3. But really, we need this 3 to be squared as well, right? So if you're going to enter this on your calculator, you need to make sure that you include this extra set of parentheses around the whole quantity, 3 root 13. And if you don't do that, then your calculator doesn't understand that 3 is also being squared. Right, if you are doing this by hand, we can jump down from that first step. You get h squared plus 36. When you square 3 root 13, you have to square the 3 first, so that's a 9, and you have to square the root 13. The power of 2 and the radical, the square root cancel, leaving just that base of 13. And so really what you're doing is taking 9 times 13, which is 117, subtracting a 36 from that which leaves you with 81, which already you should be able to see when you extract the square root. And technically you have plus or minus 9. Can you have a height that's a negative? No, so we're just going to use the positive of that. So now you can take half of 6 is 3. 3 times 9 gives you 27. The units were feet. It's an area, so it's a two-dimensional measurement, square feet.